Namaste. Welcome to Healthy Food, Happy You. My name is Valerie Samuel and I'm your host. In today's episode, we are in the kitchen with Alka Channa. Alka has been a lifelong vegetarian. In 1989, she went vegan. She has been active in the animal rights movement since the mid 80s. In 2002, she decided to work on animal rights issues full time and accepted a position with people for the ethical treatment of animals. At PETA, she focuses on animal experimentation issues. One more thing about Alka is that she is known for being a fabulous vegan cook. So today she will be sharing her recipes for creamy vegan potato salad and vegan brie cheese. Alka, namaste. Namaste, Valerie. Thank you very much for having me oh, on. Oh, it's a pleasure to have you here. So um, before we get cooking, tell us a little bit about the transition from growing up as a vegetarian and then deciding to become vegan and what's the difference between the two? Uh, sure Valerie, well um, we were vegetarian for religious reasons um, and I knew that there was an animal component to that. My mother for example would never kill spiders in the house, she would s sweep them up and then take them outside uh, and I knew that there was a reverence for life that was really the bedrock of our vegetarianism but I didn't give a lot of thought to animals per se yeah. Um, although we grew up with a dog and that, you know, having her in my life and really loving her so much mm -hmm. uh, and appreciating her unconditional love for all of us inspired me to think more about animals and I learned then that there was some, such a thing called the animal rights movement um, and I began exploring that. I went to the library and picked up a copy of Peter Singer's Animal Liberation, which is considered by many to be the Bible of the animal rights movement. Exactly, written in the 70s. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was through that that I learned that there was a lot of cruelty inherent in dairy and eggs. And so to respond to your question, mm -hmm. the difference between a vegetarian diet and a vegan diet, um, vegetarians eat no meat, and that means no beef or chicken or pork or fish, you know, any um, flesh that's flesh. derived from an animal. Uh, vegans don't consume any animal products whatsoever, so that would include milk, eggs, dairy and, products. And, and cheese, which is probably a question exactly. that you get a lot. You know, yeah. what How do about you live without cheese? cheese? So I'm, I'm really <laughs> really very happy today that we're going to be making a vegan cheese uh, brie recipe because I think that might be uh, one of the hardest things to give up or at least that's what I hear from a lot of folks is that um, the, the transition from the the you know of all the animal products the cheese is the hardest. Yeah I think that's particularly true for women uh, and indeed in my experience giving up cheese was really difficult um, you know, of course, I would always go back to, you know, the images that I've seen in videos, and I've also visited a slaughterhouse, you know, thinking about that and knowing about all of the, you know, myriad issues, which we can talk about later, the mm -hmm. connection with the veal industry, everything, you know, and that kept me off of the dairy, mm -hmm. but I have always been looking for alternatives. Alternatives. Um, and so recently I started um, making my own cheeses using recipes uh, put together by these phenomenally ingenious chefs. So I'm happy to share that with you. Wonderful. Now we're not going to be starting with the cheese today. We're actually our first recipe is going to be the creamy vegan um, potato salad. So let's start going over the list of um, ingredients and also the quantities needed for this potato salad. Sure, Valerie. Uh, well, we're going to be making a dressing first, and that dressing, just like a regular potato salad, when you think of classic potato salad, mm -hmm. we're going to be using a mayonnaise, but this, of course, is a vegan mayonnaise. So, once again, vegan mayo means no eggs. Right, exactly. So it's no cholesterol, um, no salmonella, which is, of course, a problem with factory farms and the intensive confinement of egg-laying hens. Uh, so we've got one cup. One. of the vegan mayo. Um, we have about two tablespoons of mustard here. Uh, now this is Dijon mustard, but people can use whatever they like. And if you don't like mustard, don't include mustard. But this is about a tablespoon. You can use two tablespoons if you really like mustard. Um, we've got relish, okay. you know, your basic pickle relish. This is three tablespoons. Now I love pickle relish. Um, and so if you like a sweet potato salad, you can go for a little bit more. 
you know, these things. Uh, so depending on the, t the, the overall taste that you're trying to exactly. achieve, you can play with the intensity of the flavors, adding more or less of the mustard, more Precisely. or less of the exactly. relish if you, you know, choose to do something sweeter or less sweet. Exactly. You know, one of the cookbooks that I read that really inspired me to take off on my cooking and start exploring more cookbooks and thinking about foods talked about how you really want to have faith in the ingredients. All of these ingredients by themselves are delicious. And so you can tweak things and not worry about confining yourself, you know, for most cooking. You know, baking is different because it's a science, so you have to be <laughs> precise about what you put in. But with stuff like this, you can really think about what you like, don't like, and tweak the ingredients accordingly. But what we've got is one cup of the vegan mayo, one tablespoon of the Dijon mustard, and three tablespoons of the pickle relish. That sounds easy. It was super easy. And I also like to put in one tablespoon of vinegar. White vinegar will work. This is apple cider vinegar. I just really like the flavor of it. The flavor. Um, but, you know, if you have rice vinegar, that works well, too. You know, the red wine vinegar is awesome. But uh, the really, vinegar... Really, whatever you have in the kitchen. I mean, pretty much, you can yeah. use what you've already have at home. Absolutely. And um, the nice thing about adding vinegar to the dressing is that it makes the flavors pop. Okay. Uh, it's just, you know, and it's got a nice refreshing uh, flavor and it helps um, the creaminess of the dressing as really? well. Yeah. Um, then to that we're going to add, well, salt and pepper. <laughs> and, you know, if you want to make it exotic, you can get pink Himalayan salt. I was just about or, to ask you, any yeah. particular salt, a sea salt, a yeah. Himalayan salt? This is sea salt okay. um, and coarse black pepper. But again, and you know, if you don't like black pepper, don't add it. Um, and if you want to go for some kind of low sodium, you know, something like Mrs. Dash or something like that, you can do that instead if you'd prefer. Other alternatives. Now, what is yeah, this? This is celery seed, which you can get at, you know, any grocery store. Would that store. be available just in the, in the spice yeah, section? Exactly, in the spice section. And this is something that I've started adding just in the past, you know, few months of making potato salad, uh, just because I know that we add celery, and I really love the flavor of celery. So I thought that it'd be fun to try to add celery seed, and I've been doing that to good results. Um, and this is about a teaspoon of celery seed. Um, and the salt and pepper, I should have said, are to taste. But I usually do about a teaspoon of salt and about a teaspoon of pepper. Perfect. Uh, and finally, this is an important ingredient. This is turmeric. This Look is ground. Color. I know. It's fantastic. Uh, and people use it, as, as you probably know. Um, uh, you know turmeric, is, is it a root? Exactly. It's, it's a root. turmeric root, yeah. Um, and this is the ground powder from that. It's known to be an anti-inflammatory. And it's sort of been the it spice <laughs> for the it past really has year been so, the it yeah. spice. In the yoga community, we've uh, noticed our, our yogis drinking... Um, drinking it in water as yeah. a tonic, mm -hmm. specifically for the anti-inflammatory properties that it has. It's, a, it's another one of the superfoods. So exactly. this is fantastic that it's included in today's potato salad. Yes, uh, and it's going to give the potato salad that nice bright yellow color that we associate with potato salad. Uh, so that's why we use it. You have to be careful with turmeric because it um, is bitter in large quantities. So here we have about a teaspoon. And speaking of color, there's just so much beautiful color here yeah. with the vegetables. So what are these vegetables we'll be adding? Well, uh, these should be familiar to most people. We've got green onions, also known as scallions, the green part and the white part, all chopped up finely. We've got about four or five green onions in here. And then we have our bell peppers, and I've used three. Um, We've got yellow, orange. That's yellow and orange. That's right, yeah, they're mixed together. The more color, the better. Exactly, and we've got our red peppers here, and finally we've got celery. So these are three peppers. This is four or five stalks of celery, and as I said, four or five um, of green the, uh, onions. Green onions. Yeah. And most importantly, the potatoes. The potatoes. Yes. Uh, here we have, this is five pounds of potatoes, which I've already... They, they've been peeled. So they, the potatoes yep. have been peeled. They've been peeled and steamed. So we like to steam the potatoes. Um, and you, after you've peeled, peeled them and chopped them to the size of your liking, um, and you can see these are about bite size if you have a big mouth like me, um, mm. <laughs> um, you peel them, you chop them up to the size of your liking, and you steam them. 20 minutes should do it. So steaming versus boiling? Uh, I prefer steaming because it retains uh, the shape of the potato. There's not the danger of the potato breaking falling, down. Breaking down. I've noticed apart. that. Uh, so perhaps you've experienced that too. This is, you know, some of the secrets uh, of making a better potato salad. <laughs> the other secret um, that I've learned is that 
after you've steamed the potatoes, you let them cool to room temperature and then you put them in the refrigerator and chill them. So that would be important and that's what we've yeah, done today. We have done that. Versus trying to just, you know, incorporate them and make the salad. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah. And this is also good that's if you're important. having a party or having people over and you want to make a potato salad, you can do some of this preparation ahead of time. You know, you can That's have point. the potatoes ready in the refrigerator and then you just have to assemble everything else. So, so you could do that the yeah. night before. Exactly. The day before. Yeah, yeah, okay, precisely. Perfect. Okay. So, All right, so should we start? Yes, and this is just an assembly process at this point. So what would we start with? Let's start with the mayo. Go to the base, I like doing the, the mayo. wet stuff first and then adding the spices. So um, we've got our one cup of vegan mayo. We're going to keep stirring here and putting everything uh, together for our potato salad. We will be back shortly, uh, but before that, here's a short public service announcement. <laughs> Go ahead, ready? I'm Forrest Whitaker for People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, and this is my daughter, True. Hi. Life is full of choices, and many years ago, I chose to become a vegetarian, and it's one of the best choices I've ever made. And since True's dad was a vegetarian, she decided to be a vegetarian, too. You may decide to go vegetarian for better health, for a better environment, or you could be like True and I and just decide you don't want to eat meat anymore. I love animals and I love being a vegetarian. I'm Forrest Whitaker. And I'm True Whitaker. And I'm we're vegetarian. And we're, we're vegetarians. vegetarians. Welcome back to Healthy Food, Happy You. I'm your host, Valerie Samuel, and we're in the kitchen today with vegan chef Alka Channa. We are making our second dish of vegan brie cheese. And uh, we're going to go through the list of ingredients and the quantities needed to make this vegan cheese. Elka, are you ready? I sure am. To make our second dish. <laughs> Very excited about All it. All right. So what are, what are the ingredients for this uh, cheese, vegan cheese? Yes. Uh, this is a recipe from Miyoko Shinner, who's a vegan chef based in San Francisco. And she's actually written a book called Artisan Vegan Cheeses. And it's just brilliant. Um, it's her, a must-have. It really is a must-have. Uh, her cheeses are based on nuts, and as we all know, nuts are very healthful with uh, healthful fats in them, whole uh, proper proportions of fats, the different amino acids. So this cheese is based on cashews. These are raw, these are raw uh, unsalted cashews. We have two cups here, and I've already soaked these. You want to soak your cashews first so they're soft. Uh, because we're going to be blending them in the food processor. So soaking raw cashews, how long would you soak the cashews for, you said? You can do it overnight, basically about eight hours. Okay. So th now they've been drained, and we're going to go ahead and put them in our food processor. You can use a blender, too. Many people prefer a blender. I like my food processor. Um, so that was the two cups of cashews. You want a pinch of salt. So here's some nice sea salt, which we'll just do a pinch there. Well, that was two pinches, That I was guess. two pinches. Yeah, but okay. Uh, we get it. <laughs> artistic license right there. Um, now, the next thing is for the culturing process of the cheese, you want a probiotic. And there are vegan probiotics available, again, at your natural you know, grocery store. You take a teaspoon of probiotic powder, which is what we have right here, and you want to add half a cup of water. So that's there. And I could mix it, but I'm not going to because it's going to go in the food processor anyway. So there so it the is. The probiotic, the half a cup of water, the soaked raw cashews, all in the food processor. Exactly. So it's that simple. You've Sounds got three so ingredients simple. right in there, and you're going to blend it. Now, what we do when we blend it is uh, we blend it for about, say, three minutes um, so that it's a nice, smooth uh, texture, consistency. Uh, and you'll have to use your spatula to bring down the sides to make sure that it's all, that there aren't pieces. That it's nice and, and even and exactly, smooth. smooth. Exactly. So we're going to watch you do that. Are we going to do that? Okay, great. Then let's do that. Um, so here we go. Okay, it's going to make a bit of noise. I'm ready. Okay. So you can see. I mean, this. It's getting so creamy. It's starting to. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to get creamy. Um, and you know, this is going to be a few minutes of just blending. Um, and you, you, you just bring the stuff down from the sides. You can sing a song right now if you'd like. Oh, you could balance, you know, do tree pose. Take, take, 
practice uh, your yoga, yoga balancing yeah. postures. Meditate a little bit. Think about the glory of cashews. Cashews are considered to be a particularly healthy nut. Of course, all nuts have like great fats, and they also fill you up. So um, let's see. That's you know, looking quite even if, um, quite smooth, quite even. Yeah, and I would you know do that what I just did a couple more times to get it really nice and smooth. Then what you want to do is you want to remove this from the food processor. Um, and put it into a glass dish. Oh, like this one over here. Uh, you want to put it into a glass dish and then you let it sit and culture. And that's when the probiotic powder starts to do its work, transforming the cheese and really enriching the flavors of the cheese. So if you let it sit for 12 hours, this is what you get. This is your basic cashew cheese. Now, the basic cashew cheese, once you've made it, and you can see, see it took in terms of prep, all of five minutes. If That's that, true, I right? mean, very fast. But you just had to wait 12 hours, you have your basic cashew cheese. Now, the world is your vegan oyster, in the sense that you can do all kinds of stuff with this. You can um, add, for example, sun-dried tomatoes and basil. Oh, that um, sounds like a yeah. great recipe. Oh, yeah, a and you, then you'd have a sun-dried tomato and basil cheese. Or you could add other herbs like thyme or oregano, anything that you like. Uh, and just flavor it up. And Mia Koshiner in her cookbook mm -hmm. for artisan vegan cheeses has a lot of different variations. Chev, for example. Um, Which would be a, uh, the equivalent of a goat's cheese. Right, and uh, Boursin, if I'm pronouncing Very that Very good. Yeah. My French is coming in handy. Something um, like more garlicky, could you, garlicky, could you go yes, with like a yeah, garlicky absolutely. flavor? Absolutely, yes. But this is where this you start. This will always be the base. This is the base, yeah, of your basic cashew cheese. I can't believe how simple this so is. So simple. But today we're going to make a brie. So this is basically um, the first part of our, our brie adventure. We're going to be back very shortly and uh, take it from there. Step two. Excellent. <laughs> So we are making the vegan brie cheese, and we've made uh, the basic cashew cheese. Cashew yes. cheese, the basic cashew cheese with Alka today here in the kitchen. Um, what's the next step, Alka? What we're going to do now is we're going to take the basic uh, cashew cheese right here, which you'll recall we had the soaked cashews, the um, probiotic powder, a little bit of water, and a pinch of salt. We blended that uh, to make this, mm -hmm. which we let sit for 12 hours, 12 to 24 hours, and you get this. This is the basic cashew cheese, and it's our base here. So we're going to go ahead and put the basic cashew cheese into, again, our food processor. Um, and it really has this very creamy Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, the culturing is really quite an amazing process. Um, and remember, there are live probiotics in here. So this is what so would that, what, live probiotics. What would be some of the benefits of, you know, incorporating my, live probiotics in our diet? Well, you know, people rave about uh, live probiotics for digestion issues. You know, if you're having stomach issues, this is a great way. So in particular, digestive issues? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, because exactly. these are live cultures. Precisely. Uh, so this is a super simple recipe. So you've got your basic cashew cheese, which was very easy. Now we've got some coconut oil, and you want it to be at room temperature because coconut oil is actually a saturated fat, which sounds not good, but it's derived from plants, obviously, coconut. Um, it's a plant-based food. Right, and it is. it has zero cholesterol. Now, it's a fat, so you want to use it sparingly, but, you know, as long as you're not eating, like, a whole pound of the brie. Whole, the whole <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know there, I'm Alka. Sitting. We just I, I know. might. It can, it can be difficult. So you can put in from between one half to one cup. Miyoko's recipe calls for a full cup. I've made this cheese with just half a cup. And, and it's, still. it's still phenomenal. Uh, so that's so a good point. If you wanted to reduce some of the um, healthy fats that are in this this. Yeah you know, recipe. Exactly. You can. Right. And, um, you know, something else to think about is the fact that most of Miyoko's recipes don't have the coconut oil in them. There's no added fat. Uh, it's just the cashew. So you're talking about a whole food, a whole plant-based food, uh, which is really good for you. So we've got the basic cashew cheese, the coconut oil. Now we've got about a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast, which we have been um, incorporating uh, in many of our dishes uh, in the episodes on, on healthy food, happy you. So Great. Um, 
Yeah, and a lot of people don't realize nutritional yeast isn't like brewer's yeast or baking yeast. Uh, What's it's actually, the difference? Um, nutritional yeast actually comes from mushroom family, and it's used for flavoring. Uh, so it's um, you can get it at health food stores. I, I think increasingly you're finding them in regular grocery regular stores, stores and in bulk supermarkets. You and can I've, find it there. It's for the most part fortified with B12. Exactly. So that's it's an very important healthy. vitamin to um, make sure you're getting enough up. Exactly, and it imparts a nice cheesy flavor. So to recap, we've got the basic cashew cheese, uh, one half to one cup, cup of the coconut oil, a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, and about a quarter teaspoon of salt. salt. And now we're gonna blend this in our food processor. Let's go for it. Okay, super. Okay. And we're gonna use the same kind of process that we did before, where we're gonna be blending and then tamping down the sides, blending more, and so making some noise. You know, and uh, in real life, we would do this for a few more minutes, but I think right now, uh, in the interest of time, we can go ahead Actually, and Actually, it's even, you know, after two times, it's looking very It's very creamy. creamy. And then what we do now is we go ahead and we uh, just spoon this in here. Simple. I see why the plastic um, wrap at the bottom would help keep everything. Yeah, it's nice. Contained. Uh, right. And running. Exactly. And when we finish putting all of this into the mold, Valerie, we take the plastic and we wrap the whole thing up. Um, and, actually, and you've already done that, Alka, right? Yes. I, I'm going to set this aside now. Um, that we'll, looks really we'll do, pretty. But you get the idea. You just put all the, the batter, I guess you could say. It is. It's, it's like a batter. And then you want to wrap it up. And yeah. this, is, this would be, let's switch this out here. Exactly. Good. Let me help you for a minute. So then, ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> so this is after it's been refrigerated overnight, eight hours is sufficient. Okay, so now at this, at this stage, what would we do? At this stage, we're ready to eat. We're ready to eat. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take a short break. There is a yoga segment coming up and we'll be back with Alka and we're gonna enjoy our two dishes. Sun Salutation A with nine movements. With big toes touching, exhale, equal standing posture, samastitihi. Inhale, reach the arms overhead and look up, urdhva hastasin. Exhale, standing forward bend, fold and press against your legs in uttanasin. Inhale, lift head and chest in halfway position, ardha uttanasin. Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga dandasin. Inhale to Upward Facing Dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, push back to Downward Facing Dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Hold for five deep breaths. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Inhale, rise to the toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Look between the hands, inhale, step or hop, halfway position again, lifting head and chest, Ardha Uttanasan. Exhale, standing forward bend, Uttanasan, press against the legs. Inhale, reach up and rise, look up, Urdhva Hastasan. Exhale, release the arms, stand tall, equal standing, Samastitihi. Classic Sun Salutation, Classic Surya Namaskar, 12 movements, with big toes touching, Exhale, hands in front of the heart, Tadasana, mountain. Inhale, reach the prayer up as you arch back, look up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands through the heart, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, step the right leg back, drop the knee, and look up, lifting head and chest, lunge. Hold the breath in, step to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin to the mat, Ashtanga, Namaskar. Inhale, pull forward slowly into low cobra, Pujangasan. Exhale, release, bend knees, push seat to heels and extend legs. One breath, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, step the right foot forward and lunge. Drop the left knee and look up. As you exhale, left foot meets right foot, big toes touch, fold forward and press against the legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, press through the feet, start with bent knees, straighten legs, hands in prayer, reach up and arch back, look up. Urdhva Hastasin. Exhale, bring the hands back to the heart. Tadasin. Other side. Inhale, reach up and look up. Arch back. Urdhva Hastasin. 
Hands through the heart, exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, step the left foot back, drop the knee and look up. Hold the breath in, step to plank, shoulder chest. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, eight limb prostration. Inhale, pull the body forward, gentle cobra, back bend, Bhujangasana. Exhale, release, bend knees, push seat to heels, one breath, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, step left foot forward, drop right knee, look up. Exhale, step up, right foot meets left, big toes touch, fold against the legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, start by pressing through the feet, bend the knees, hands in prayer, strain legs and arch back. Exhale, hands at the heart, Tadasana. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Healthy Food, Happy You. I would like to thank today's guest, Alka Chenna, for making her delicious, creamy, vegan potato salad and dairy-free vegan brie cheese. Alka, I cannot wait to try what we've made today. Um, before we do that, if our viewers uh, want to know more on how they can help animals, what do you suggest? They should come to PETA.org, that's P-E-T-A dot O-R-G on the web, and they can get all sorts of information about how animals are abused and neglected in our society and what they can do to make a difference. And how we can make a difference with every meal, every day that we um, sit down and eat, which is what we're about to do. Uh, I'm your host, Valerie Samuel. I look forward to being in the kitchen with you again very soon. And uh, namaste, should we tuck in? We should. Okay. It's namaste. All right, here we go. Oh, great. let's take our napkins off. Oh, okay, great. That was fun cooking with you, Valerie. Oh, it was fun having you in the kitchen. <laughs> Should I start with the potato salad? Sounds good. Gosh, these colors are amazing. Go ahead Thank and hold you. up your plate. Okay. All right, I'm going to try not to do them. Not too much. Oh, come on now. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Let's go for it. <laughs> Compassionate foods. Let's go for it. Yay. I love the apple and the... Um, black pepper that we yeah. added. Isn't that nice? That's and of course pretty. you can use crackers or French bread or you know, very anything. French. Yeah. Yes, yeah. after all, yeah. it's brie, wee oui, wee. Oui. Right. Yeah. You want to go ahead and take your, your well, slice? You. I, I'm so that was a good idea. Thank you. Bon appétit. Okay. Yes. Bon appétit. Would you like some apple? Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, you have your cheese? Yeah. No. Nope. I got the big, the big, uh, oh! I'm going to use my hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My aunt used to say your hands are the healthiest. They're clean us. So there you go. All right, but let me see. Let's okay, cheers. <laughs>